Hello, my name is Dylan. I'm a backend engineer on the search team at GitLab, and I'm going to demo you today using some of the search features built into GitLab, and in particular, how to use the custom search engines in Google Chrome browser, which is also available in other browsers too, to quickly access our search straight from the URL bar. Ordinarily, if you're in GitLab, we have this search bar available at the top of the page pretty much in most contexts, and this is the feature that our team works on and should allow you to find basically anything within GitLab, but it may be quicker for you to perform searches straight from your URL bar. Instead, people at GitLab may be quite used to searching Google itself for content since all of our stuff is indexed um, by Google anyway, since mostly we work in public, but there are times when that's just not the best tool for the job. For example, confidential issues aren't indexed at all in Google, so you can't find those, or there may just be other times where it's not yielding the best results because it's not specialized for finding specific things. In the case of using our search bar, a search bar more efficiently from your browser, you can use these keywords and this page will be linked to from the video description. So we're going to show you how to add those. You open up the page here and you click edit search engines. When you're here, we can add a search engine. We're going to call this one GitLab Issues. So whenever we want to search GitLab Issues, we're just going to use the keyword GI in future. And that URL there goes in there with the template. So now, if I ever want to search GitLab Issues, all I've got to do is open a new tab, type GI space. And then I may remember that there was some issue regarding Auto DevOps mobile apps, I think, that was discussed a while back. And I can't remember what the issue was, but this will allow me to find it using our issue search. And sure enough, there was an issue discussing mobile app development using Auto DevOps. But I may have not found the issue I was looking for. And maybe it turns out that there wasn't even an issue and it was actually just a comment and discussion we'd made at some point in the past. Well, here I can click on the comments tab and now you can see previous discussions that relate to this Auto DevOps and mobile. And there is actually a comment from me there from a while back about that. So that's the first example, and this next example search, involves searching entire groups. So we can search for the whole through the whole GitLab org group and the whole GitLab com group using these URL templates. So I'm going to add this first one, GitLab org as go, and that goes there. And then I'm going to add the next one as gc GitLab com, and this will allow me to search for the entire GitLab com group. All right, now that I have those, I want to perform some searches. I may remember that in the GitLab org group, we have lots of Go projects, and I know that we've previously implemented some linting with a Go project before, and I'm trying to remember how to do that again, so I might just search the GitLab org group for Go lint and see all the previous times we have implemented linting before. So probably the best place for me to look for this is merge requests. I can see there in the projects that we actually have linters in that group as well, but here I can see merge requests that in introduce linting to some Go projects we have in the past, which will be super useful for me as a developer when I'm implementing it next time to see what discussion went into the previous implementations and how they did it. In the GitLab com group, we store a lot of things relating to our company. The other day I was trying to remember a change relating to Australia and taxing, and I knew it was a merge request introduced at some point, so I thought Australia tax seemed like pretty good keywords that should uniquely identify something like that. It shouldn't come up that often, so I can click here on the merge request tab and have a look at merge requests that refer to Australia and tax, and sure enough, this was the merge request that introduced some documentation under explaining stock option taxes in Australia, which is exactly what I was looking for, and in GitLab com group, we often have internal communication and private communication, and you may find that there is confidential issues as well that are available to search in here that you wouldn't be able to find using Google search. So another good reason to try out this feature. I hope this video was useful for you, and I'll leave some links in the description. Thank you for watching.